All right, let's get going. Um, first off, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us for our first Murphy Masterclass. We're excited to show you Murphy so you can start using it to its full potential. I'm Missy and I'll be facilitating today and my colleague Miley, who is our resident Murphy expert, will be doing the demo. So Miley is going to be going over customizations and branding, in-call features, and strategies for handling the unexpected during a call. And at the end of her demo today, she will be answering your questions. Uh, before I kick it over to Miley, though, we do have a poll question for you. It should pop up on your screen any minute. Um, and you can also access it by clicking the poll icon at the bottom of your screen. The poll will be open during the entire webinar, so feel free to answer it at any time. All right, Miley, are you ready to show us Murphy? Oh, yeah. All right. So first things first, we're going to talk about um, the customization options with the Murphy platform. Um, customizations go a little bit further than just branding, but first we're going to look at the branding. So as you can see here, we can update the background image, the company logo, and those accent colors um, around the buttons and input fields. Let's log in and see what customizations we have while in call. So this is what we call the billing screen. Um, this is what you'll, every time you log in, this is the screen that you will see. Now, everything above the language selection field is customizable. We can add billing questions, I believe up to six. We support free text fields like what you see here, drop-down menus, and then cascading drop-down menus. And cascading drop-down menus allow you to filter out choices based on previous selections. So if you have a lot of information to gather and a lot of options, those might be the right thing for you. If you'd like to update your customized billing questions or talk through what our options are, reach out to your account representative or our customer success team, and they are more than equipped to help you out with that. Additionally, there is a link up here um, about having a pre-scheduled call reference code. With the Murphy platform is enabled with pre-scheduled calling. Um, you can enable or disable that based on your, your organization's preferences and the workflow that you need for your providers. Now, up on the top right, we have the settings cog. This is the additional places where you can customize the platform. We have three options here. We have the device information, customer support, and the contact us links. The customer support has two customizable links, the getting started and frequently asked questions. We have standard links that we put in there, which take you to Murphy support um, information. But if for any reason you would like, you would like to brand it yourself or you have your own portal, you can put those links here. Under the contact us, we have two phone number fields and an email field. Here you see our standard configuration, which is the call us, which goes to our Murphy support desk and the report and issue link, which is also customizable, but our standard report and issue link goes to the Murphy support desk through a web portal. So you have two ways to contact them. Now, before placing a call, I always suggest that you go to the customer support link and you hit this connection test. This will ensure that your operating system browser and internet speed meet the Murphy minimum requirements. You wanna see green, three smiley faces and three green check marks, just like we see here. If for any reason you are seeing red X's, go ahead and review the Murphy minimum requirements. If you don't know what those are or where those are, you can find them in the Murphy support hub, or you can contact um, your account rep and they will send those out to you. If the page makes no sense to you, um, run it by your internal IT team and they can let you know what's going on. All right, so that kind of covers the customizable features that we have on the Murphy platform. Additional settings though that I would check before you place a call is to make sure that your speaker can, is working. You can hit the test and you'll hear a nice little beep. You can also watch your voice rise and fall and see if the microphone is detecting that with these dots here. And you can test that your video connection is working. I'm right here. 
So let's place a call and let's see what kind of features we have in call. So once you enter in your billing information and hit connect, you will see our wait screen. You have the ability to switch to audio or cancel requests at any time. But as you can see here, for the most part, our video interpreters will connect relatively quickly. Hello, my name is Helen, your Russian interpreter. How can I help you? Hi, Helen. We're just going to be walking through some features. You mind hanging out with us today? Sounds good. All right. Sure thing. So Helen is our interpreter. She's nice and big right in the center of the screen. Um, some options that we have um, with her view is up at the top, we have this three dot menu. This allows you to pin her video to full screen. It does remove your view, but this is helpful for smaller devices where you need the interpreter view to be a little bit larger. And with our visual languages like ASL um, on those smaller screens. Additionally, you can mute the video or audio of any participant, or you can disconnect them. I would um, mention that you should talk to whomever you're going to mute their video or audio before you do so, because they will need to unmute themselves uh, before you can hear them again. Now, up at the top right, we continue to have this settings cog. It has the same information as it did on the billing screen. So you can still get to the frequently asked questions or the Murphy Support Hub, or even the contact us information if you're having any issues during the call. And we'll come back to this in a little bit. Next to the settings cog, you have the network statistic indicator. We've got four green bars, which is what we want to see. Um, this will let you know that you've got the right bandwidth um, to ensure a smooth connection. When you click it, there are some additional um, there is some additional information here. Um, a lot of it is kind of unnecessary for you to look at, um, but it does help us when we're trying to figure out what the issue is with your network or for some reason if the interpreter is getting a little choppy. What I would tell you to pay attention to is this middle one, which is your sent bandwidth. You'd like that to be over 500 kbps. Um, that is the minimum sent bandwidth speed to have a smooth connection with Murphy. Down on the bottom, we have the invite participant link. So when you can invite, uh, you can add another interpreter or you can invite a guest. Um, when you invite guests, you are inviting video participants. You can send them a link through email, phone, or you can copy the link and send it through your own internal channels. Um, once you pick one way to send an invite, you can use all of the other um, settings and features. You don't have a limit of number of invites you can send, but we do suggest that you keep it to five total video participants at one time um, for the best viewing experience. Um, another thing to note is when you're entering a phone number, um, you should just enter the plain 10 digits, no dashes, no parentheses, no slashes, anything like that. Now down on the bottom right, you have your chat feature. This allows you to converse with any and all participants on the call. Um, this is a great feature to use to let your interpreter know that they are too far away, too close to the screen, their voices, they need to speak up, they're muffled. It also supports in-language chat. So as you can see here, Helen can type in English and in Russian. So now that we've talked about the in-call features that you have available to you, let's talk about some strategies and what to do if anything's going wrong during your session. When you're on the internet, sometimes things will happen. Your network will drop out. <clears throat> there will be connection issues. It happens and that's okay. Murphy does have some intelligent audio and video monitoring. It will monitor your network consistently throughout the call. When it does that, if you are having a network drop, Murphy will prioritize your audio over your video. So you might freeze on the video screen, but the interpreter and other participants can still hear you and you should still be able to hear them. If this happens, you can always turn off your video through this setting here. This might allow your network to kind of resettle itself, and then you can turn it back on and you should be good to go. Additionally, like we mentioned, this network statistics up here, this has some lots of information about what is going on with your session. If you're having issues with a session, you can always take a screenshot of this network statistics indicator 
and send it to us or your internal IT team to kind of debug where the issue is originating. One way to send it to us is through the report and issue link. This goes to our Murphy customer support desk. Um, <clears throat> you have the ability to enter in a description and attach files as needed. Additionally, the customer support links have a plethora of information. The getting started link takes you to the Murphy FAQs and support hub. We have FAQs about video and audio quality, will, which will help you debug on your own what's going on with your session. You can also, oops, sorry, run this connection test again while you're in session and ensure that your internet speed is still as fast as it needs to be while on the call. And sometimes it'll take a little moment, but it is testing your speed, so it's running that test. So another other kind of uh, helpful things to do when you're having issues with the audio or video quality while in a session is you can talk with your interpreter and see if they're experiencing the same issues. They are very familiar with the Murphy platform and can help you run through a few debugging scenarios. You can also chat with them if for some reason your audio or video are freezing too much and let them know that that's what's happening, this is the experience you're having, and they can chat with you that way. There's also the old adage of turning it off and off back on again. Sometimes this will help you reset your network. You can also do this by adding another interpreter to your session and seeing if that might connect a little bit smoother. I will mention that the more participants you have, the more bandwidth required. So it is a minimum of 500 kbps for your sent bandwidth for a one-on-one -on -one session. It goes up by 100. So 600 for a three-person session, and so forth and so on. Um, if you ever have any issues, let us know. We are more than happy to help, and there are a couple of different ways to let us know. First, you can call us. You can also send us a message through the Connect Us link, and when we disconnect this call, I'll show you another way to do that. Helen, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. My pleasure. Um, anything else you need? Not today. Thank you. All right. Thank you for using our service. Have a great day. When you're done, you hit the big red end call button and you land on the Murphy or the rate this call screen. You have an optional rating of the wait time, the call quality for video and audio. You can also add comments. This is a great place to let us know that something went wrong or something went right. If you don't have enough time or you don't have anything to say, you can always skip it. Once you submit or skip, you're taken back to the billing screen and ready to place another call. Now, I'm sure you all have lots of questions about that. So we're going to transition into the Q&A function or the Q&A portion of this call. Thank you, Miley. That was so helpful. Back. All right, there she is. Okay, uh, we have some really great questions that I hope you are ready to answer. So awesome. I will just get started. Uh, is inviting guests, sending them a link, something you can do in advance, or do you do it as the meeting is beginning? So you cannot do it in advance. You have to send links to an active session. Um, so it is something that you can do at any time during the session, um, the beginning, the middle, whichever you need. Um, and just as a reminder, any guests that you do invite will be video participants. They can turn off their video if they want to just be audio, but they do need a web-enabled device to connect to Murphy. All right. Do you need to dial one before a number or a nine if we need that to get out of our usual phone system? Um, no, so you are, you'll be sending text invite links. So you just need the 10 digit phone number, area code, plus everything after that. All right. If These we are good questions. I know. <laughs> 
There was a lot more too. If we have changes needed with our login requirements, who do we contact? So you can contact the customer support desk through the phone number or the report us or the report and issue link. You can also contact the CLI customer success team. Um, they have an email, I believe, and you can always reach out to your account representative and they can get you to in the right hands. So pretty much anyone. If we have specific FAQs for our group, can those be added somewhere centrally accessible? Absolutely. So we have the frequently asked questions link, which is customizable. Um, if you, as long as your organization puts them in some type of web link, so you can have a link to a PDF, you can have a link on your website, you just need to send us that link, we will input it. Those changes take about a date um, to get put in effect, um, and then it'll be centrally located for all your participants and users. Do we have a timetable for when we will get access to any of these features? Our chapter only has a CLA login that only gives us access to invoices and reports. The rest just says coming soon. So are we talking about the report us link or the report web link? Um, that is something that will get set up through the customer success department. So if your chapter doesn't have access to it yet, you might need to go to your organization's contact with CLI, or if you have direct contact with CLI, talk to that person and let them know that you don't have access yet, and they can let you know when you will get that. But it's dependent on each account. All right. We have in-house interpreters. We'd love to add them on the platform. Is that possible, please? Yes, it is. So the Murphy platform supports what we call internally a micro call center. Um, this allows you to add as many interpreters as you want onto the platform. What you need to do is get in touch with your account representative and let them know that you'd like to do this. Next, we will get you set up with an admin login and teach you how to add your own interpreters to the platform. Once we add all of your interpreters, they will get logins to the Murphy platform where they can, with an email password, and they can take calls. So the way the workflow goes is anybody who places a call from your Murphy web link to get an interpreter will first call your interpreter um, in whatever language, let's say you have Spanish interpreters, um, they will have a set amount of time to answer. So this is customizable. The standard is about 30 seconds. So if after 30 seconds, your interpreters do not answer, then you will go to the CLI pool of interpreters to get that call answered. So you're the first line of defense and then we're right behind you. All right. Are you able to help check off internal interpreters? One more time. Are you able to help check off internal interpreters? Um, I think so. So if I'm understanding the question correctly, we can allow your interpreters to answer calls um, and we can deactivate their accounts if you no longer want them answering calls. Uh, we can also have them only go to certain facilities within your organization. We also have the ability to do that with our own CLI interpreters if for any reason you have trouble or you need um, like all female interpreters or all US based interpreters. We have those are the settings of able. So there was a, a clarification on that question. Are you able to help check off internal interpreters uh, for quality assurance to ensure they are interpreting correctly? Yes, absolutely. So we do a lot of uh, internal QA with our interpreters. Any complaints that come in, we research them through our QA department. Um, if you are frequently having issues with this interpreter, we can remove them from being able to answer your calls um, or we will remove them from our platform. So if you have problems, let us know because we will always research it and then come back to you with our findings on what happened and our next steps. 
All right. Are call rating questions customizable or able to be removed? Um, not at this time. So you can always skip it. You don't have to answer the questions if you don't want to. Um, we are doing some internal testing to make sure that we're asking the right things um, and getting the correct information. Um, it's a really quick five-star rating for three questions. This was what we determined was kind of the right level. Um, but if you have any suggestions that you'd like to see in the future, you can always let us know through that uh, Murphy Support Hub and we can put it onto our backlog and see if it makes sense to build for the rest of our customers. All right, can we remove the audio language op options, just have access to the video languages? We can. Um, so at this time, if you wanna remove the audio language options, um, you can only access five video languages. If we are working on expanding that selection so that you can access all 20 of our languages. Um, you can, if you would like to do that, you just have to let um, your account representative or our customer success department know, and they can change that setting and help you pick the correct languages and walk you through what the configuration will look like. Do participants have to download any kind of app to join the meeting? No, so the Murphy platform is completely web-based. So all you need is a device that has a camera, a microphone, and uh, a connection to the internet. All right. And what language will the text invite go out in? It goes out in English. We also have it in Spanish as well. Is there a best way to do an audio call with an interpreter only, not video? Yeah, so you can, through the Murphy platform, there is a field um, labeled channel. Um, this is where you can toggle between video and audio. If you want to connect to an interpreter in one of our video languages, you will have those drop uh, drop down menu of all of those languages. CLI also has 200 plus languages that are not supported on video, but only audio. And you can connect to those through the Murphy platform by hitting that other 200 languages button. This will go to our call center. One of our lovely agents will answer the call and ask you what language you need. And you just let them know and they'll connect you to an interpreter. So is using an iPad the best practice or does Murphy perform just as well on a computer? Um, an iPad or a computer, um, they perform just as well. I have seen it used on iPads and laptops. Um, it also works on phones, but the video view is a little small. So I would suggest an iPad or a computer screen size, but they perform just as well on all devices. All right. How many interpreters do you have? Is there ever a time a call can't be answered? Um, I do not know the number of interpreters off the top of my head because it changes regularly, but we have a lot. I believe it's in the thousands. Um, our interpreters are logged in. We have hours of operation for our video languages. Um, I believe it is 7 a.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. So it hits most of the hours of the day. There will be times where our interpreters are busy um, with other calls. So you always have the option to switch to audio, which will help you get to an interpreter a little bit faster. You can also continue to wait and we will send out notifications to our interpreters to see if they are available. Um, and the Murphy platform will let you know what's going on if we have no interpreters logged on or if we have them logged on, but they're busy in call. Um, so, it does happen, but we try our best to get it staffed as often as possible. And just to piggyback on that a little bit, I know we have around 4,000 interpreters taking audio calls at any given time. I just, I don't know what the VRI language number is, but. All right. Um, how many languages do you have? Can we request a language to be added? Yeah, so we are always um, doing research as to what languages should be supported, what our customers are asking for. So you should always let us know. Um, currently, we support 22 video languages and we have over 230 um, audio languages. 
and we're always adding more. We're always adjusting um, based on need. So let us know and we'll do the best we can. If for any reason you have a language that we don't support, ask us anyways. We do a really good job of sourcing languages of limited diffusion. Are there any plans on the horizon to include the text invite in other languages? Um, so we have it in English and Spanish. Um, I do not know if we are planning to expand that, but it's definitely something we've considered. Um, the invite participant links don't get used that often. Um, so if you keep using them, we will get them in more languages. Absolutely. Can the invite sent be more specific, informing the patient, for example, this is your clinic inviting you? Um, so right now, the uh, invites let you know that it's coming from certified languages and that it is an interpreting session. Um, if you need a more specific invite, you can talk to your account representative about getting that added. Um, I'm not at this time, it's not something that we do support, but again, it's always a really good idea to let us know your ideas so that we know what to build next. All right, if there are no video interpreters available, will Murphy put the video call in a hold queue until an interpreter is available via video? I am thinking about ASL where audio option isn't an option. Yes, so ASL and Spanish are the two languages that we support on video 24 seven. Um, with ASL, we know that you need a video connection. So we try to staff up as many interpreters as possible. You do get placed in a hold queue when no interpreters are available, but this always means that they're on call um, and will free up eventually. Murphy um, is to, I believe the millisecond, so. Once you hit connect, you get placed in the queue based on that time that you hit connect. If somebody hits connect at the same time, it'll either it'll pick whoever went just a little bit first. So you are in the call queue. We'll answer it as soon as we possibly can. All right. How will the invitee know what to do if the text invite goes out in English? I'm a bit confused by that. Um, so we do suggest, it depends, I mean, on who you're sending the invite to. We do know that sometimes you'll be sending links to people who do not speak English. Um, the invites are very simple in the hopes that people will know just to hit the link. You can also send them through your internal channels. You can also ask your interpreter to type out a message for you if you need to send that. Um, and if they are enabled with keyboard, they can do that for you. Um, you can also utilize our audio options for inviting participants if you need somebody to get the invite in another language because the interpreter will be on the call at that point. If you have a concern about it though, we can definitely talk through it um, with your account rep or our customer support department. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. We have a few more. Um before we hit our time limit. Um, are these services available 24 seven? Um, so Spanish and ASL are available 24 seven. Our other languages are, we're working on expanding that, um, especially for our most used languages like Haitian Creole um, and I believe French as well was one that has been asked for recently. All right, if we choose audio versus video, can we invite our patients to the call? Yes, so the audio calls and the invite participant link is a little bit more confusing. Um, I would suggest going to the Murphy Support Hub and clicking the adding a guest or adding a guest to Murphy um, and reviewing those instructions. To add a participant into our audio calls, you need to go through our call center. Um, when you request an audio language, or when you request, let's say Spanish um, from the language selection screen, and then you choose audio as the channel, you're gonna go directly to the interpreter. Um, the interpreter can give you instructions on how to get back to the call center, but the flow is a little confusing. So I would suggest using that other 200 plus languages option when you know that you will need to add a guest and they will help you dial out to your third party 
um, and get your interpreter in whatever language you need. All right, and our last question for the day, can you schedule a call or is it on demand only? You can absolutely schedule a call. Um, our next Murphy Masterclass will be going over pre-scheduling and all its glory. So we will get you all of the information. Um, if you need to review it now, though, you can always go to the Murphy Support Hub and we've got very detailed instructions about pre-scheduling calls. Awesome. Okay, we are at time, but thank you so much, Miley, for answering all those questions. Uh, they, were if we, they were really good. Uh, if we <laughs> didn't get to your question, we will be answering them. And a link to those answers, along with every other question we answered, will be sent to you with the recording. And we'll try to get those up as we can, the answers. So, um, and if you uh, have any other questions, Miley is available for those or your account rep. Um, her information will be sent out in our follow-up email with the recording. And one last thing, don't forget to check your email uh, for a little surprise gift that we're sending you as a thank you for coming to our webinar. We'll be sending that out tomorrow. So yeah. thank you so much, everyone. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thank you all. And thank you for spending your Valentine's Day with us. Yeah.